Okay, so we'll be looking at uh, optional vagrants, although it's, uh, it's optional, but uh, it's also good if you can do it. So overall, all these ones, you don't need to look at all these stories, stories, stories. So here they say you will need Git for this. Uh, so let's just go down to the project. So here they say on your computer, open a terminal and do the following. Navigate to your home directory. Create a directory called zero d. Navigate to this new directory. Navigate, initialize git and add the remote origin. Create a file, readme.md and emacs for other. So now, emacs for other command line editors and write a small markdown. Dash dash dash. So what they want you to do now, if you check, if you check here, you see where they put a repository of zero day. Now, what you need to do is to come to your to your uh, your Git your GitHub account, and then just like how we created a repository, then then now if you check, they say the repository should be zero day. So you give it the name zero day. Now I already have that, so I'll use one to differentiate it. Now let's see any other thing. So uh, let's be sure. Is a create a file? Okay, create a file readme.md with emacs or other command line editors and write a small markdown text to present this project. This file is mandatory in project. So you can see this is the Git repository here, which we'll create. Now in description, you can just give it a little description of uh, this is. Okay, it's not compulsory, shall we say this is the repository for for the optional vagrant ELX task. So you make sure it's public. Make sure you don't create any other thing here. Then you create the repository. Now, just like before, you could remember. What you need to do here is to clone this repository. Uh -huh. And how do we do it? Remember, you git clone your HTTP, then your HTTPS. Sorry, I forgot S. Then your your token. Then after your token, you remember you have at git of dot com so at github.com then in the next thing you copy from here your name and name of the repository you copy it then sorry you copy plus this slash here forward slash you copy everything here and you paste and then you enter so now if you check you find out that we now have it here uh, where is it so you can see the repo here zero d uh, where is zero d so you can see it's zero d one so now you go back and then if you check they say we should create a a readme file right uh -huh. so now and they say i write a small markdown text so let's check the what the markdown text is all about uh, so yeah, I'm just going to create. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll first enter into the directory that I'll just clone, which is the zero day. So I'll use cd, I'll move to zero day one. But make sure your one is just zero day. Uh -huh. I'll enter it. Now I'm inside to convert use pwd print working directly. You can see I'm inside the directory zero day. So what I'm going to do here now. Uh, let's see. Uh, now you can see this one is to make it strong. So, and then under the zero day, you see the social create a file called with me. So remember, we use touch. Then the name of our file. Readme dot md. Now I want to edit the readme. So vim. I'll use my Vim editor readme.md enter. Now the first thing I'm going to give it a title. Now if you check, 
to give it emphasis this is what you use use this double strike so I'll use the same I'll use my read me file so now the next one uh, let me see which one should I use again uh, okay Okay, so let me use this one. Let me use this is a fair grant project. So the next one, let me see what again can I use? So let me use this other point. Created the repository three called zero d, and then the second one created a a file a read me file. So I think I'm okay like that. So the next thing now, they say you push okay. They so, so they say we should commit with this commit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to git add or first add, then I'll use git status to confirm, then I'll git commit flag m. Then the commit message they gave me here is my first commit. Then I will git push. Now let's confirm. This is it. So if we refresh, now you can see our readme file. You see how it's been organized. This is the heading. And then these are the two points I, I put there. So once you are done, you come and check your code. Then the second one, you see inside the same repository, which is 0D. Then you should go to your directory. Now it means we have to create a new directory. That's what this one means. Yeah. See inside the zero day repo, create a new directory called this. So now we are inside the repository already. So I'll create the directory using mkdir, then the name of the directory. Now to confirm, use ls. Now you can see the directory. Then I say add a readme md file to this directory. So they want us to add a readme file to the directory now it means i have to enter the directory so i'll do that using cd then the name of the directory now inside the directory if you use pwd you see it so i'm inside i'm actually inside the directory inside my repository so now they say we should add a readme file so uh, although they were not specific what the readme file should say but then what i want to do is that i'll just use echo to put something in there so echo i say this is the fair grant direct three. Then I'll redirect it to my readme dot md. So now if you list, you see my to check what is inside. Use cat readme dot md. I can see what is inside here. So the next thing, the now say ssh into your Ubuntu virtual machine what does the command you name print when you run it without any option so now let's confirm you name now if you check what it's printed here when we use you name was linux so then i say type your answer into a file in the vagrant directory and push it to github name your file accordingly as shown below so this is the file they want us to create now we are going to create this file so i'll copy the name of the file to create a file now we are inside the directory already we use touch then the name of the file so to open the file we use vim we have to open the file because they say we should use we should write whatsoever thing we see once we pass this command into our terminal and after passing it here this is what we are seeing linux so i will open now what i saw is linux so i'll just type it in linux and then i go out so the next thing is to we git add 
so you can check it using git status then with git commit flag m now what i'm going to commit is that i'll say add um file or let me say add read me read me file and file and hello ubuntu so and git push so once i'm done you just or once you are done you just go ahead and check your code so i think that's that so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share as well so have a good day